hey what's up guys welcome to design creators so this is what we are going to design today the same exact design so i also told in my previous video that i will be teaching on this video that i will be teaching the same exact design so this video is also about color combination trick you can watch this video if you want to learn about color combinations right if you haven't already subscribed to my channel which is design creators please press the subscribe button and the notification bell icon to receive notifications whenever i upload a video okay let first let's jump into illustrator and let me create a new document so the first thing is you have to head over to this web tab once you're here please choose the common size or whatever the size in here it doesn't matter it's always when whatever you design in illustrator you can resize it without any quality loss so 1366 by 768 is a good size to start with like it's a little bit more than the size hd once you have select everything to look like this and go to advanced options and make sure you have selected raster effect raster effects which is 72 right you can even choose 300 but not now right normally i recommend choosing 300 at the very end of your design once you have completed your design select this to get a higher quality from the design right but so choosing 72 will help a lot right the pc will be much more faster when it's going to designing whenever you have assume that you have lots of shadows going on if you are working with lots of shadows your pc might be a little bit laggy so to overcome that we'll give the 72 uh, resolution once you have done that press create so yeah i will close this because i have already created and i have loaded the image right so what's this image and why it's here is that right take a look at this background here that this background is called as the infinity background right go to google right i have already searched for infinity studio background and one of the result that i found was this all good right this one you can use even this one you can use and what i found was something which was uh, this one actually yep that's the one that i found right i saved it and i load it into illustrator right which will be here so what's this is that they used to give different light setups from different angles and the background will look like it's going to the infinity like endless or limitless right so like this kind of a background is good for portrait photography and also product photography if you can see a car is there also like for portrait like taking pictures of the humans or taking product photographies so i think having a background which is an infinity background for this will looks the good looks better so in my one this here right here i haven't have not made it to look i uh, exactly like this so even in my design there are lots of issues going on right one of those is this lines does not look right or the background which is not considered a lot to look like the infinity studio background i just have given some uh, three different shadings without considering this right and there are more things we should adjust on the way let's see let's start by creating this the exact same one of this so first what you do is get the rectangular tool and create a box right then you have to create three color gradient to create gradient all you have to do is just press the dot key on your keyboard or the full stop key on your keyboard and here is the gradient tab even you can go here and press on this and definitely have to change the angle to 90 degrees or minus 90 whatever 90 or minus 90 is good let me change it to 90 
and now uh, if you can see this place looks very much bright so let me let me select this white and hold down alt uh, I mean alt and click drag to duplicate the white color and keep it somewhere here and I'm also going to click drag this and I'm going to duplicate this all the way to this side and I'm also going to duplicate it once more here and I forgot to select this I'll select this and also make sure you select stroke and give it no stroke color no need of any stroke color and I'm going to duplicate this black color a little more to this side here's why because as soon as it's white somewhere here it's this side should be a little bit darker right on the top it should be a little bit darker that is why so what i can do is select this double click on that select this and try to make it less less bright like this maybe and also definitely we have to reduce the brightness i mean increase the brightness to all this top one and the bottom one right so i think uh the top one is too much dark i will select that and give it more like a bright color and also all of these two should go a little bit more downwards like that you see but i feel like this is too much uh dark so i have to make it some more light so much more brighter now there is a vignette effect going on around if you can see clearly so to make that effect you have to create once again a box a rectangle on top of that but i guess before i do that i will move this to the center now i'll also go to the align tab and align it both vertically and horizontally now i will by holding alt i will click drag both the sides at the same time and of course i will duplicate this how do we duplicate this is you select that and press ctrl c and ctrl f so we have two copies let's say i have two copies go to the gradient option select black and white only now uh, give radial gradient and we have this vignette effect now all you have to do is you just have to mess with the uh, blending modes right here transparency change the blending mode to darken multiply or lighter i think as a screen not the screen maybe touch color or maybe i'll what i'm trying to do here is trying to find the best possible one Oh, it's hard. It's kind of very hard to figure it out. So let me put this to normal. And what I will do is I'll go to this here and change both of these into black and white, right? All you have to do is change both of these gradient colors to black and white. Select one of those and change their opacity to zero, right? All the way to zero and select the last one and you might have to give it like 10 that's a small effect very very small effect i ha i have no idea if you can see it clearly but i can see it right if i increase that like this it will better selecting this and increasing it all the way to 80 so you got the idea right this should be like maybe 20 so your goal is to make it look something like this right i think it's too much so let, 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 me, let me reduce this to 10 itself so this looks like an infinity background 
So let me delete both of those and go back here. Now you might wonder. Now it looks yellow and why I made it to look like black and white or white and gray. Definitely we have to do something now is what I have to do is firstly I will move this down. Select all of this and for go to properties and find out where the recolor artwork is. So press recolor. And if you don't know, I'm using Illustrator version 2019, so you better use them. Use the same version, it's better, so you will get a new kind of menu structure, not like the old one which shows in the at the top, which is not that much convenient. Anyway, let me go to Edit tab, and once you're here, press Link, like link all the colors together, and try change moving this until you get a uh, yellow the type of yellow color how you want maybe this but as you can see we are not able to change the white color but the rest of the yellows changes but not this white but I think uh, I think some I did something wrong that I should consider I should have considered before that I should have thought about selecting everything together including the vignette effect so I can change the recolor everything including that vignette effect so let me go to edit once again link every color and move this until you get the same type of yellow that you are expecting maybe this yellow or you can even select everything together and move like this some more bright maybe to that side a little bit yeah however we cannot change the black and the white we might have to do them separately anyway i will press ok of course we couldn't change the vignette effect anyway let me maybe let it be in black and white no need to change the vignette effect but what I have to change is I have to make sure that this white is a very bright yellow like that see a very bright looking yellow if you want you can make it look more brighter but I think this one should also change to a little bit more bright of yellow like that so it looks like a infinity background from here all of this right so now i think this yellow looks much more beautiful than this anyway they are kind of the same right i'm not going to spend a lot of time to correct things so we have made the background now and you might wonder how how i chose this color combination which is yellow and blue here's how i chose the color combination by going into the website adobe color right once you're here go to the tab explore and search for the color that you're looking for if it's blue you can find out the best colors that will work nicely with blue that i found out that blue and yellow works very nicely a good combination here you can see blue and yellow almost looking very good Here's a, another example, another example here, another example. So we have so many examples to go. And one of the reason why I chose that is also because the opposite color or the complementary color of blue is definitely yellow. That's why they both looks good. So let's start to create, let's start off by creating the box. To create the box all you have to do is simply create a box by holding ctrl i mean shift and alt to create a box and definitely you have to give it a color like this which should be a blue a little bit dark blue and this side completely like light blue so let me make sure that they are looking the same i think this blue should become more of a dark or con highly contrasted blue 
like that not too much contrast like this is fine for me yeah like that so the angle of that is also works like this how i did this is that you have to hold down g right to go into the gradient tool so select this press g and now you click drag that's it so you can mess with the angle and what's next is these two parts here the top one and the sides the top and the side so it's very easy nothing hard so you select the box hold down alt and click drag the box by holding shift it's that very easy you can duplicate things instantly now shrink its size like that and definitely now you might want to do something that something is you have to press a to go into the direct selection tool and select this and this by holding shift right now you have to click hold one of those and both will move at the same time if you want you can pull it down or pull it upwards i think i'm fine with this little bit upwards so selecting this and this a little bit upwards now i have to move the side i mean to create the side that's also very easy hold on control i mean alt shift click drag done right now simply shrink like this and nothing hard the same concept nothing changes here it's just same we want to be more precise zooming to be precise as much as you can right so it's done now so i just created the box but in my box looks slightly different from this that you might want to press g and change their angles right here and there like this all you have to make, do is try to make sure it's looking like a 3d box that's it so what about this side yeah so select that control g like this it's actually like this all right if your goal is to look make sure it looks like three as how it's looking right now this looks 3d that's all now you might want to let me press control z to go backwards now you might want to create this how did i do this is that it's very easy first to create a circle and fill it with the same gradient color here's how that if it's a different color maybe like this select the circle and press i to get the eyedropper tool and select blue right and you might want to try to change the angle of the gradient and duplicate this but before that i recommend you that you reduce the size of that like this so you also have to plan your move create a circle and press shift plus shift and x together to switch the fill to stroke and all you want to do is increase the, increase the stroke size and just adjust it right that's how you want it you just adjust it that's it that's what i did so it's like a planet and the dust dust which are scrolling or going around the planet something like that that's the idea behind it and see how i've done that i'm not going to spend too much time on this right so just place and you decide how much the width you want like right? if you want to increase the width of that so i think this looks cool right so now place the circle on top of that and try to match the sizes and move the circle down by the arrow keys keep it down here duplicate it like that 
select both and definitely go to object blend and press make once you have done that here's the magic you will see lots of circles combined together to make one looking like a worm now select everything once again your one might not look like this if so go to object just go to blending options and here blending options and you give i want to specify my own steps and increase the number like 50 for now and you have to press ok then you add more 50 circles so altogether 50 circles right now simply select this i think it's better you disable stroke for that as well so it's just a transparent or non-visible spline or a line now you select both of this by holding shift both the spline and this that we created go to object and yeah definitely the blending options from here you say replace it to the sp uh, sp spine okay spine select spine and there we go but we are lacking of circles so you know what to do go to object blend and press blend options and maybe increase this to 200 just press preview before you do anything um not enough right maybe let's go to 300 oops not that don't do that your pc might get stuck 300 wait now here's a problem even if i press ok the problem with this is the circle is not closing right yep this circle is not closing so how do we fix things how can i fix this maybe i can go back by pressing ctrl z several times i mean these two and say object blend and make it once you have made it simply select create a box like this like this right and select both the circle and the box and press shift plus m to get the shape builder tool and hold down minus i mean alt and get rid of these lines in the center once you have done that we can clearly see we have something like this now select that and this and go to object blend and you press uh, simply replace spine and there we go so that problem solved and you might want to want to consider changing the angles of the gradient to make it look more realistic how do we do this is first you select this object and double click the circle once you are in the isolated path right now only this circle is isolated now you can press g and you can change the gradient how it's going to look and all you can change it like this or like that try to find the best possible one right now i think i will choose maybe the default one that i made already maybe this right if i want i'll change later but as i told i'm not going to spend much time next right it's a tricky thing that you have to group this together this box together so select all the box part and press ctrl g to group them and put it on top and now here's a problem now you need one of those parts to or the circle should be wrapping around the box right to make that you have to put the what we call the circle on top of the box and all you can do is you have to go to select the pin tool pay for the pin tool and highlight the box like that i mean 
trace around the box like that and you have to go around only the parts which will be visible right not the parts which should not be visible okay go around like that and end it like that right what i did was like that now select both these two and press Control seven to blend those together it's simple as that see i need this so yeah i did that so yeah that's looking nice now we have to create the text 20 percent discount anyway i'm not going to spend too much time typing the text so what i'll do is i will take this from here and if you are wondering what font is this it is bbus new and you just put the font here i mean the text here but i will pull this down if in case if you want to make this much more bigger anyway now also it looks like text is already embossed because I have this down here. How do we do that? It's very easy. Select this, press Ctrl C, Ctrl B, and change the color to black, right? And by using your arrow keys, just move the behind text up and down and change the blending mode to maybe a multiply. I think it's dark and or maybe I think it's overlay. Yeah, overlay is good, and you can even reduce the opacity if you want. I, I like to reduce it like 36, but in this in my old one, it's not looking nice as how it's looking here. Anyway, what's next is the uh, background is all set and. Yeah, let me create, what shall I create? Yeah, the motion here, this motion here. The most important parts. In this, it's totally looking wrong. This here is wrong. What's the motion is that it shows that maybe this box is hanging and it's rotating. Maybe not the box is rotating, but maybe this here is rotating like this. So to show a movement, we use techniques like this when it comes to designing like this. Something that saying that this circle or oh, this here, this one rotates. So to describe the design, all you have to do is, all you have to do is create a path. You get the pen tool, right? You can click and you can click drag like this and just a straight line like that and definitely you have to press ctrl x to change this to and select a solid color like for now we select a solid color like that and select that and you have to find your stroke options my one will be situated right here stroke and change this to like this and do the uniform to this or maybe yeah, maybe you can go with I think this is the most best one let's see now there is a movement you can even exchange those now what does this ex describes is let me change this to white so it's more nicer that way so right now it is rotating clockwise okay now if i change this it looks like it is rotating anti-clockwise so a design should make sense most of the time so i want this to but here i have not done anything like that it just looks odd it doesn't looks like 3d to me so this looks nice and all i have to do is maybe i want to create a circle like this
and you know I didn't want to make it look like uh, a perfect circle because definitely while in the movement the perfect circle will not, not look like a perfect circle right it will look look like this while in its if it's on the movement or while it's on motion anyway you do this part and rotate it as how you like it and definitely you can select these two and you can say control G to group them together and if you like you duplicate them like that and reduce their size as well and make sure before you reducing make sure scales corners and uh, make sure especially this scale the stroke and the effects while I scale yeah that's the difference while you scale stroke and the effects should be changed like this So it describes motion now. See how look better it looks compared to these two, and you see how better it is. Now all I'm going to do is select all of this and pressing Control Alt and moving to this side, and simply all you have to do is hold Shift and rotate it to the other side, like that. And of course I have to delete these two. So now there is some motion, right? And that's some mistake that I did once again. Um, but I think I uh, I will leave all I will leave all of this up to you to create this one and the star and this. These are very easy part that I don't even have to teach you. Just grab the pen tool and draw things. Pen tool and start drawing a triangle maybe like that and especially it doesn't have to be symmetrical right here it's perfectly symmetrical and I think that it's wrong so it should be like this maybe now it describes more of like a rocket like flowing through that end right here think that this is a rocket paper plan paper play plan uh, and it's flying like that right but if it's a perfect triangle right how do we create perfect triangle is polygon click and number of sides are three you press okay so if it's a perfect triangle right now it doesn't look like if it's flying it looks like two dimensional right it's 2d but this looks 3d right? this here looks 3d so it's game changing right but compared to this it's wrong so even in the stars if I have done it something like this so it looks like the stars are actually floating the stars are actually floating but here it's like it's pasted on top of a book or something it's pasted but this here describes floating this here describes floating so all of these perspectives techniques you should understand if you want to become a professional designer anyway those are some of my tips that I'm going to give you okay next what we can do is creating this sale and the shadow okay here's how you do that is you type sail right everything in caps lock right type everything in uppercase letters if you haven't did that go to type change case and uppercase right make sure the font may be pbus back again and it should be bold and the font colors definitely white so we need a shadow for this how do we create the shadow how did I do that is I first made sure this is not a typable uh, 
typable text it should be you have to go to expand you have to press expand it so it becomes a shape not a typable text we are not able to type it anymore and simply duplicate this easy here's how so all you have to do is press ctrl c ctrl b now it is duplicated in the behind or the background right there are two copies okay and i think i will select the top copy and i'll go into my layers panel and i'll open this and i'll find it where it is this blue color box indicates that this is the selected currently selected layer if i select background i mean the vignette this is the one right if i select this box here now that's the one which is selected so you have to select a text which is on top and hide it for now press the i button to hide it for now and select this and maybe you want to go to properties and change the color to black and change this to overlay just like we did before right and you have to find out this here scale tool click hold it for a while until you get shear tool right once you have got the shear select this center point or the anchor point right select that i mean click and click hold it down here right exactly at the very bottom of the text and from up you click hold it this way Yep, I think it's better you hold shift while doing it. Right. Until you feel like it matches this line, exact line. Okay. But before you do that, I think you better move it here and place the east corner right there, like that. And once again, the shear tool and move the anchor point or the center point. I think I messed up here. So move tool again, move this to the side, shear tool, moving the center point. Actually, I can do like this. You click, 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 click. See that's moving automatically. Now click on any of this point. I recommend holding the stop point and by holding shift, move it like that until it matches with the perspective of the box now we go to uh, the layers panel enable this and try to match this properly like that and see that it's already giving a beautiful 3d looking effect and definitely we have to cut a part how to cut that is once again i'll hide this and i'll create uh maybe i can i will select both this one and the box together like this right select both of those together and hold down shift and m together you will get the shape builder tool and hold down minus i mean alt and select this 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 it's gone it's just gone so it's that easy like that so it's way looking better compared to my one is one of the mistakes that i have done is that i have given it a stroke of blue color right never do that it's not professional it's not looking nice compared to this here yeah. okay so even one of the mistakes with these chains here we'll see what that is but we'll first create it so you can get the end end for the pencil right and you click drag to draw a chain like this like that once you have done that go to stroke and enable stroke like that and definitely what color stroke is that it should be i think let's make it look look more realistic right if you ask me have you ever seen white color chains i should say no it's not rare so 
when it's come to chain it will look gray or black black doesn't work here properly maybe i'll go with the dark blue dark blue is good but still we'll find out a dark gray right now it's look more realistic anyway let's make it looks like a chain by going into uh, the stroke tools or stroke options and plus I want press I want dashed lines and I don't want box lines but I want round lines like that and it's already looks nice oops let me fix that yeah but I think if you want to adjust this number the dash number and the gaps number type a number here and see what are the change happening I think it's already looking nice so that now I will get I will just type N to the uh, pencil tool and I'll click draw lines like that just some random lines right make sure it looks like it is really hanging a little bit slant not too much slant slight slants like that and I think it's already looking way more better than this okay here's one of the mistakes that I did here one of the good thing that I have done this is take a look at this compared to this line this line looks smaller that that makes sense because whatever looks in the front looks bigger whatever is in the back looks smaller it's just easy so i'll make sure that this goes like so on and this with size maybe like maybe three to look um not too much more this seven is too much for me let me put this back to five five and this one and this one whole shift together and change it like to maybe we want it to be like three okay hmm not three maybe it's too much small maybe four okay fine that's a small difference small size different but anyway all right and the business mistake here is that it's too bigger thicker chains that's not looking nice for the overall design anyway what's next is almost done yeah we have almost done everything expect for these unnecessary lines here which is on the center i will leave it up to you all you have to do is to do these lines just some white boxes and I have simply changed the opacity, the blending mode to let me show that. I just have made some white color lines and changed their blending mode to soft light. That's it. And also, if you can notice this one, like this highlight here, let me do that highlight by. Yeah, let me do that. Pen tool, you get the pen tool, you click here and zoom in here click there and here and here let me press ctrl x to switch the colors I mean the stroke click here and finally from where you started so if it's too much if I'm too much fast what I did was I created this once again I'll do that like this that's it that's it that's what i did like that so let me once again press control z several times and changing this to a type of a yellow color will be that and definitely change should be on top of that okay what's next is hmm this this one and also these two lights here to create lights all you have to do is you have to select circles right let me create a circle 
and fill it with two colors simple what are those colors press this to go into gradient tools and select the color yellow and yellow so alt click drag click drag this down and so we have two yellow colors and reduce one's opacity to all the way zero and make sure it is a radial one and pull this down like this i recommend if you can add a new color that new color should be white so it looks like more of like a light right now it looks like a light okay so now it makes lot of sense and we move it to the front here shrink it from alt by pressing alt up and down and you just you just place it like that okay try to change its blending modes right i think i'll leave it at hard light hard light for me is okay but anyway i think there's something wrong in this that is that uh okay so let me try to maybe increase the yellow a little bit and get rid of the whites a little bit maybe and it, maybe i will i also should reduce the opacity of the yellow a little bit not too much maybe 80 and if you can see there's a light here at the behind of the box i think i'll not do that if i do that it will it what it does is it just erase how this uh these shadows looks and i think right now we are all everything is almost looking perfect okay some additional things that you can add this you can add motions like this some 3d looking some some 3d looking uh what do we call like arrows which flies like this towards the box like that okay so some motions like that you can create or even this flying star and this is totally a additional thing if you like you can do that how i did that is i got uh, i got my i guess the pen tool yeah maybe i'll get the pencil tool so i can draw easily as how i want you just have to draw like this like that and fill it with you know what to do it's yellow color okay so it's yellow color you have to make sure it's yellow and there is no fill color okay so we have a beautiful stroke here and maybe i will make it with high much more high like that and maybe it should look more of like a much more yellow yellowish i think that's all we can do right now anyway so now maybe i think i should make it looks like a gradient maybe i like it to do differently this time let me do that so let me press full stop and definitely press ctrl x to switch those i mean switch the fill to gradient and get rid of the fill and you have to select this and you have to go to the gradient options so you select that this and exchange this so something is totally wrong that if you can see it properly that we want uh, we don't want any white colors 
so either is white actually I don't want white so select this and say no white it should be a linear gradient in the center I want it to be yellow and yeah all the sides should be yellow like this you have to create three different sides and in the center you make sure it you reduce the opacity maybe around like 40 and you also make sure that the center says stays somewhere here okay so I have to change the center's color to red for now so I can actually figure it out what's happening actually uh, one problem that I forgot that it should be a 90 degree one so it works perfectly so 90 degrees okay so you just have to make sure the red sticks exactly in the center okay so select that I just messed up a little bit some keys got pressed moving this to the center yeah then pulling this back to normal back to normal and select this double click and change it back to the same yellow and you have to simply change the opacity like reduce it as much as you can right because in the infinity these lines maybe won't be visible I'm just thinking something maybe you can get it maybe this time let me give it a very subtle line not too much now you press N and all you have to do is start drawing like that okay. okay so if you like you can even duplicate this and if you want to change the angle press a and move this like there like this i think both of these should go a little bit downwards and of course the top we messed up with the top so select both a select select shift hold upwards done select both press ctrl g ctrl i mean alt click drag and press flip vertical i mean flip horizontal not vertical okay And if you like to take a look at this complete view on the latest version of After Effects, you can go to view and say present presentation mode. So you can see the full screen view of this design. So go press escape to go back. And finally, let's do this shadow. Right. To do with the shadow, all you have to do is select this top one. To select the top one you have to double click the top box until you are able to select it individually now press ctrl c to copy and double click anywhere outside to go back and you press ctrl v to paste it and it's that simple change the color to black and make sure definitely it's at the very bottom to put this to the bottom or down the box you have to select both the background right both the background along with the vintage effect right so click hold and select the black color box as well so right now I have selected three things and you press Control shift and the left square bracket key so everything will go I mean whatever the selected items will go downwards okay so it almost looks like floating 
you have to do something with this that you have to add add a mesh tool not this not the perspective tool oops you have to go to window perspective grid grid and you say high grid anyway here's the mesh tool and start clicking on the center maybe here and here and i guess i have to uh, get rid of the center and i'll click here and here once again here and here once you have done that you have to press a to get the direct selection tool so like this 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 change the opacity to zero and so you select this 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 change the opacity to maybe like like uh maybe 74 right you repeat the same thing with the other side right so selecting both of these zero this this and this to 74 It doesn't have to be exactly the same you just can leave it anywhere right so if you move it upwards you will get a shadow like this but now you might want to think of reducing its overall opacity overall opacity okay so select this and select reduce its opacity right this and reduce its opacity I think I will keep it somewhere like here and I'll also make it much more bigger and straight away you can tell me something is clearly wrong here that is also as you can see this should go down let me select all of this and this and press ctrl shift left square bracket keys once so this lines goes behind everything it's just behind the blue color circle okay so what's, what's wrong here is that you, as you can see it is like this doesn't have a shadow this doesn't have a shadow if there is a shadow for that this will look almost realistic anyway right as long as we follow the rules of where the light will fall and where the shadow will fall that rule if you can consider you can make a design look much more better like cartoonishly realistic way okay that's what i like so this part i will leave it up to you maybe you figure it out a way maybe you just create like this and fill it with black color fill it with black color and you just try to copy the exact same thing like that just move the like this and just copy the frame stroke with as well now maybe you just add the effect of right stylize drop shadow and maybe you give it a maybe you uh, i mean not drop shadow why am i even here yeah, I just have to mess with the blur. So stylize. Uh, where is the blur? Okay, blur situates here, and you have to press Gaussian blur preview. Then you might want to increase this. Not too much. Not too much. Once again, it's very subtle, and you press OK. And this you have to let me take a look at the overall 24 of this so you change this 24 as well and now we have put it downwards right it should be exactly down so i think i will make sure it just looks way more subtle than like this um, like this but definitely it should go down everything right to do that you select both the background on that and control shift left square bracket key and definitely it should be maybe like right there maybe it's 
like right there maybe so I will leave this up to you right you think and try to make it look real as possible so that way you will make sure you are making the design look much more better so if you haven't gone through my youtube channel it's called design creators and i make graphic design videos and i have lots of guides such as ultimate guide for the poster leaflet design and some other poster designs and also photoshop and also adobe illustrator and after effects tutorials are coming on the way and also i give some tips and tricks to become a better designer that's all my all about my channel is so if you have enjoyed my video just subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any doubt i'm ready to help you and definitely like the video and it will help me a lot thank you so much for watching take care peace out